Hello microbiologists, welcome to another video from Shomus Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the practical aspect of phase contrast microscopy. Yes, this is a phase contrast microscope and it's actually a light microscope which is modified uh, to phase contrast model. And here I'm going to discuss about the phase contrast model, basically what we have in the phase contrast microscope, which differentiates this microscope from a light microscope. I also have both the kinds of microscope in front of me, a light microscope and a phase contrast microscope. So I'll be telling you exactly what are the different things and components of a phase contrast microscope and why it is different than a light microscope. But remember one thing, the phase contrast microscope is a little modified version of a light microscope. Basically it's, a, it's again using a light source, but in this case, to visualize living objects, yes, because the light microscopy lacks in one particular idea that as it uh, as it utilizes light to pass through the sample and specimen to visualize it, to make an image and magnify it, obviously what happens is that sometimes the light that moves through the specimen, if the specimen is transparent, cannot be visualized properly, particularly the extracellular structures like plazella, like capsule, like uh, in case of uh, bacteria, the spores, which are not clearly visible with light microscope without staining. So if you're dealing with living bacteria, dealing with yeast, which are growing in the living space and living microorganisms, basically, or any other living protozoa or anything, pond water, anything that we see, actually see in this uh, particular channel, those things can be well visualized utilizing a phase contrast microscopy. What's the basic difference between light and phase contrast microscopy? Theoretically, we have understood we have understood that process, but now practically we need to understand that. Without knowing practical, you will never, never understand the basic difference between light and phase contrast microscopy. So let's let's move on uh, to this part. So basically we call it as a, both the microscopy are known as light microscopy. But the difference is that that one, uh, there are two examples. When we first one we'll talk about as, as a uh, bright field microscopy and this one is a phase contrast microscopy. So bright field microscopy, dark field microscopy, phase contrast microscopy, all of these microscopy models belong to one kind of microscopy that is light microscopy because all of them utilizes light source as a like illumination source, okay? All right, so here we are and here you can clearly see that these are the two microscopes that we're dealing with and here I have the light microscope in the right hand side and the phase contrast microscope in the left hand side, okay? So what we can clearly see is that what is the primary difference between the two? If you can see that there are many things are similar, that they have the light source as the illumination source, they have the adjusting knob, uh, maybe the position is a little different, here is this one and for the phase contrast is this one. Then there are the stages, so they both have stages, right? So here is the stage for the light microscope, here is the stage for the phase contrast microscope. The only difference you can see from this particular point of view and here you can see that there is only this diaphragm which we can bring to the bottom. So this is the diaphragm and condenser duo okay and i can take it to the top as well diaphragm condenser duo in this particular image you can clearly see this is the difference in the light microscope we only have condenser diaphragm duo but in this microscope what we have we have this structure that this is the phase contrast apparatus okay or phase plate we call it as a phase plate now what we can clearly see in this phase plate is basically you can see this is the phase plate right and this is written as b b means what B means bright field. So right now it is placed in the bright field mode. So basically this microscope act as a bright field microscope at this moment. So basically there is no difference at this particular moment between light microscope and a phase contrast microscope. Same thing. But the difference uh, will come where we will slide it a little bit. Where uh, in this case we slide it counterclockwise. Uh, so this is clockwise. This is counterclockwise. So 10 means what? This is a phase plate for 10x objective. So what we need to do here as well, we need to place 10x phase objectives in here. Okay, along with 10x phase plate. Then we move to 20x. This is 20x. You see, this is 20x. And again, we need to adjust it to 20x. But that there is a difference. There is a basic difference of the objective. These are bright field objective lenses and these are phase contrast objective lenses. Basically, in phase contrast objective lens, uh, there are phase contrast rings that are present inside of this objective. So there are specific objectives. If you zo if, if I zoom in, you can clearly see in this objective what is written that pH 20. You can see that 
isn't it this ph 20 here this ph 20 means what that is a phase contrast objective while this is these are all normal objectives there is no difference in name these are normal objectives okay normal bright field objectives now one thing i should tell you is that we can use this phase plate uh, or phase objective to visualize light bright field microscopy as a bright field lens but we cannot utilize a bright field lens for phase contrast microscopy okay remember that that's why phase contrast microscope are much expensive because it can work as a bright field microscope as well as as a phase contrast microscope both now here you can see that how it exactly operates is basically here you can clearly see that is b written b means what bright field so basically now the microscope is operational in the bright field mode you can see this is the bright field light is coming in right it's a bright field mode basically okay no issues no difference but then what we need to simply go with we need to go with here we we'll start with movement and in this case the face plate movement is very important we need to move this face plate and this face plate is constructed of different uh, one is a bright b then there is 10 there is 20 there is 40 uh, 10 40 and 100 b 10 40 and 100 there are these four different part of this plates and remember as i told you that you need to always move the objectives in the clockwise direction clockwise so this is the clockwise direction this is the clockwise direction right similarly the, the, there is also inverse of this whole uh, feature is that in case of face plate you need to move it to the counter clockwise direction means movement counter clockwise not clockwise okay so this is clockwise if we rotate in this way left side you need to rotate in the right side okay so first it will hit 100 means now the face plate is set to 100 okay so we need to also set the 100 100 objective 100 x objective along with 100 face plate in order to achieve 100 x face contrast which is very difficult to achieve by the way okay now we'll move to next that is 40 40 so we'll move to 40 Again, what we need to go here, we need to go with, this is the 40x, this is 40x, so we need to adjust 40 with 40 face plate, 40 objective in order to visualize the object in the 40x in the face contrast, okay. Then, we will move to 20. So, always move this face contrast or face plate to the right of yours, to the right, remember that, always to the right. And objectives to the left. Objective swipe to the left. Face plate swipe to the right. Okay. So 20. And again. 20 means what? This is 10. I think. This is 20. Okay. It's done. 20 with 20. And this is again. Last one. Light. This is 10. So again. You will move the same way. 10. Done. 10 with 10. And then finally, bright field. Okay, so normal bright field microscopy, and again you can use it with anything else. So basically, this is the idea of the phase contrast microscopy. The difference in phase contrast microscopy over the light microscopy. There is nothing to deal with here. Simply you lower down this diaphragm and condenser duo in uh, the 10x objective. Then slowly for 40x and 100x, you will take it up. At the maximum position that's all you need to do there's nothing else what else you need to do is basically you need to adjust this this diaphragm you can see that this is the this is the diaphragm close it open it open and closure is done here that's it there's no such difference in here that's the only difference that you need to do at this particular point use face contrast to see these images you can see this is a beautiful image that you can only see with face contrast basically i'll try to show you with the fine adjustments you see this is an image view of a face contrast. You see the contrast that is created in the 40x with Mosquito is remarkable, right?